gets into it. And speaking of, uh, you know, the old guard going into the newer generation right now, we have Beast seeing if Yoshio has the chops to take it away from him. Beast being number one in the region, while Yoshio was a huge dis uh, disruptor of PA. So we'll see who comes out on top. And this, our first of winter semis today. Well, that's got to be an understatement, man. Yoshio really just came in here, actually been rocking this region as of recently. And I think in their latest set, or as pretty recently, Yoshio took it over Beast at No Johns. Yoshio's been playing really well. Mm -hmm. And the Beast recently has been playing really well into a lot of the better players. Honestly, we haven't been seeing a Samus play like this in this region. It's really nice to uh, this is the formula, and it's exciting to see, man. This is not, this isn't it. This is the Billy. No, taking yeah, over. Definitely, and then you consider the fact that there's also a Yoshi secondary, which is just as good and strong as that Samus. But, I mean, this is Philly. We're known to have some Yoshis lying around, which is why you see the Samus, but even then, that forward smash is going to be enough to give Be Beast first blood. Yeah, Yoshio's lying around, and, uh, you know, Samus is lying around as well, and Charizard just wake up AOs them. But on the other side of things, Beast also takes stocks, makes it 1-1. And resorting to Squirtle, but right now Squirtle, uh, his combo nature sort of getting shut down as we're going toe to toe here. Yoshio keeping him on tab. Right now chasing off to the side, which we swap to Ivysaur, seeing maybe if we can get the mid to far game started where uh, Breeze can have a little bit more breathing room. Oh, nice use of the charge out there, go right through the Razor Leaf. Yoshio backing off here, trying to find an approach option. Nice to use that Razor Leaf once again. The up was his second up air. No, nice jump out of there. Yoshio depending his options. He's got to be careful here. He's playing uh, really well into uh, PT's disadvantage state. you got to be careful about this, man. Yeah, and I really love the, like, the patience that Beast is displaying. Using Ivysaur for the most part, using those Razor Leafs to just kind of keep away uh, Samus for the most part. But even then, now you see the Zard on deck trying to put on, put on a show once again. Probably put on a clink, but I mean, you're Yoshio playing a dangerous game at the corner. Oh yeah, especially when the rolls are reversed, when Yoshio locks down uh, the ledge so often, and it's what he's known for when the uh, rolls are changed. We'll see, no, Beast can't get the stomp down that he wanted, but he gets the resourcefulness of the up throw on platform. We'll take out, put Yoshio on his uh, potential final stock here in this first round, but he's gonna get clipped by the wings of the Beast even further. Can't even touch a 125, now 136. Beast, Yoshio still Ooh. struggling, finally takes out with a multi-hit off ledge. We'll see if he has what it takes, or will Beast be number one and still charge through against Yoshio to take the first round, maybe. Beast is playing this really well right now. Yoshio, I think he's trying to get into uh, the zone a little bit. He's got to relax here, realizing that Beast really struggles with that long range play. You know, he really struggles with the zoning in general, and Yoshio has to like take a step back and realize that, like, yeah, like you can play super aggressive and you have all these setups that, like, if you're playing into Beast and you're running at him, he's going to find those setups first and he's going to absolutely take advantage of you. That dash is going to be huge, though. Using that flare to come back. Ooh. Yeah, it's super telling that, you know, Charizard and Squirtle are his better characters because of that close-up nature that he uh, he's known to resort. Ooh. Out to claim stock with the down smash. Yoshio will take that. Beast, you know, he still put up a good fight against Yoshio, putting him to uh, 73 last stock, but... Right now, it seems that uh, the disruptor over from uh, from Japan overseas is uh, poised to finally maybe close out a Codename Bears victory for himself. The final Codename Bears. Uh, that would be, uh, you know, How insanely coincidental. Be? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if insanely anything. poetic. I'm rooting for you, Yoshio. No, <laughs> no bias, but I, I, oh, I got the card stacked on you, man. But like, there's a you. reason for that. You consider the fact that how close he's been so many times. It's, always like, it's right there in the, the nail wolf. biter. And mm -hmm. did we just see the wolf? You certainly did. <laughs> yes. This is literally the kryptonite of Yoshio. When it comes to spaces, it's literally a hit or miss. And more often than not, you know, he's he does tend to struggle against the spaces. Wolf being one of those. Uh, big characters that just kind of invalidate a lot of what Samus wants to do just because of that neutral game. You take away half her neutral, which is just the missiles and uh, the charge shot, and even then you also, you also have a laser of your own to contest and just uh, throw out from time to time. Yeah, uh, after the Arcadian, Yoshio did tweet out that uh, Laggy Kai was uh, certainly a contender for, if not the best wolf, at least in Philly, but he has not seen this wolf at all, and right now he has put on a clinic Beast charging head 87 to now 49, uh, just showing the uh, the unexpected nature that Yoshio was uh, not predicting against a uh, new wolf of all things. 
as Beast yet again traps Yoshio on the negative side of the ledge trap. But Yoshio charges to fight forward on the small battlefield. No upper platform to escape to for Beast as he pushes and gets his uh, put on his toes on the left side. And back and forth skirting through a good amount of projectiles. We'll see how Yoshio gets back from this. Yeah, I'm liking the pick here from Beast, because typically uh, Beast would start out game one with PT against Yoshio, and then you go Falco, right? And the Falco, the last time he came on Falco against Yoshio was at Nojohns, and he ended up losing, mm. right? This wolf is looking really refined lately. I mean, he finds that up smash. Beast, is, this, this wolf is legit. I'm not going to lie, this wolf is legit, man. He, he, I think he's found his actual counter to this game plan. And I feel like Wolf is just that character that just kind of covers every single matchup. Sure. Everything that you need, and especially when it comes to a zoner matchup in a character like Samus. And the way that Beast is playing right now is like he's waiting for those opportunities. He's kind of trying to force Yoshio to throw out something as that back air takes a stock. But, you know, it's kind of like now Yoshio's game plan, which revolves a lot around the mind games, around, around using that charge shot to, you know, just get center stage for the most part. It's just being covered out by the reflector. Even then, um, just a great pressure game of Beast with Wolf. Yeah, you can certainly be a good Wolf player, but when there is a great Wolf player, there is a, it's a huge divide in terms of uh, visual showcase. And uh, right now, Beast, uh, the hours and hours of training has certainly put in the work for him Ooh. as a great tech option. Still getting taken out by that forward smash, but Again, 82, and with how deceptively uh, heavy Dark Samus is, but with how trained Wolf uh, can be. Oh, oh, oh no! No, oh, no, oh, like wow. this. Okay. 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 Well, yeah. <laughs> backtreading on that little statement there. I mean, mm. for how.